So detector dogs are canines that are trained to find some aspect of the animal. Uh, they're touted usually as being non-invasive because they're not targeting the animal itself. Usually they're going after or detecting something like scat or hair. Our dogs are trained for scat detection. When the Nutria project began, we had lots of Nutria. And dogs were initially trained to actually bay the Nutria for their handlers. But as time progressed as natural in an eradication effort, the number of animals declined, which is a good thing. But it also reduces the number of training opportunities for dogs coming into the program. Using SCAT, it's something that we can control, so we can train the dogs at any time as long as we have Nutria SCAT available. And we use SCAT from different states, different ages, different sexes, and this is stuff that we would use to train the dogs with in uh, their exercises. <laughs> look for dogs when we first procure them for detection work that are between the ages of one and three and we're looking for high energy dogs that have a high toy drive. They want to play fetch all day long till your arm falls off. These are the kind of dogs that generally don't make good pets for average homeowners because they tend to get into trouble if you don't give them something to do. If you can't occupy their mind they'll chew up the couch, the door, you name it and it becomes problematic. So a lot of times dogs that fit our criteria are ones that you can find at a local shelter. They're dogs that someone got as a puppy and then the puppy grew up and became too much for the family to handle. We can give it a job where it can work and harness that energy and put it to a good use. I first met Maya back in June 2015 on my first procurement trip to Montgomery County Animal Services and Adoption Center. She was surrendered by her previous owner because she was too hyper, just too much to handle, and that's one trait we look for for our detector dog program. The way she surveys is a little different than other, our other dogs. She's more methodical and systematic as she uses the wind uh, with her nose, she'll quarter quite slowly, but when she gets to target, she'll put her nose right on it, barks quickly, and when I ask her, girl, show, show me, me. Yeah, good girl. and that is for the dog to point at the target where she's finding it, and she'll put her nose right on it, and I give her her favorite toy, which is a Wubba Kong, and we have fun after her exercise. A good dog handler is one that wants to learn, that can problem solve on the fly because this is a very unique situation. You are working with a partner that is a different species. It's a totally different way that you need to communicate and if you're going to be effective at communication, you need to understand your partner, his biology, everything about him because he cannot talk to you. It's something that you have to have a lot of patience in and you have to have a, an enthusiasm and willingness to learn. What you got? I mean, it's hard to say what the dog likes, but they are very excited to get out in the field. And every day when you come in in the morning, they are ready to go. They know what the game is. They want to play the game. To them, this is all fun. I mean, this is what they love to do. They love to work for their toy. In fact, some of the dogs, that's the reward in itself, that working to get the target to get the toy. Mm -hmm. 